Hello and welcome to a very brief video tutorial. In this video tutorial we're going to be looking at setting the white balance using the Panasonic AVCHD HM70 video camera. From previous video tutorials we've set our focus so our images are no longer blurred on the screen as we're trying to capture this Lego island. We've also played around with the iris because we're in a room which is a little bit dark. But we also now need to go and set the white balance. Now in short, what the white balance is, is you get different kinds of lighting sources. So right now we're inside a room and I've got the lights on in this room. And that is tungsten lighting. In, in essence, it's kind of a warm light. It's a, an orangey color. If you look at the view, viewfinder now, there's a warmth to it. Um, perhaps moving more toward the red spectrum or the orange spectrum. If you're outside in the sunlight, it would be a cooler light moving towards um, the blue spectrum, a blue colored light. So remember we're going back and unfortunately we've made reference in this video camera that this uh, in the past tutorials that this video camera is not as smart as us humans. What we need to do is help this video camera to see as well as our eyes see. Now when we walk from outside and we walk into a room and there's different lighting, we st our eyes quickly adjust to the different light source. So everything looks the same as it would look whether it was inside or outside. Basically what you're doing with a white balance is you're telling the video camera this is what true white is in these lighting conditions. And the best way to do it is we go and get a sheet of white paper. And I'm going to set this white paper exactly in the area where I'm going to be filming because that's where my, my um, light source is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into that white paper so my entire screen is now white. And then I'm going to go over to the auto manual focus button and I'm going to push it down to bring up a diagram that comes up on the viewfinder here. By default, the first time I push it, it comes up as MF minus, MF plus. Now I don't want any of those. I want to push it one more time and you'll see that it comes up with something else. It's got iris. 2x2 two two next, shutter, and then it's got WB, which stands for white balance. That's what I want. Now, this diagram resembles the function keys on your video camera. Now, the white balance is at the top, so I'm going to push the top button here. And I push that, and it opens my white balance settings. Now, I can push the settings one way or the other, because it's asking me to go a little bit that way or a little bit that way into the different lighting spectrum. So I'm going to do that. And then sooner or later, there's an extra function that comes up here. It looks very much like an envelope or a rectangle square. And what I can do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to push that. And what the camera is, what that button basically is, is me telling the video camera that you are now looking at true white. So I'm going to push that. See the screen go black. Then it goes white. And that tells me that the video camera knows that I understood that I just told it this is true white. So I'm going to do that one more time. We have this diagram. That diagram has WB with an arrow one way, WB with an arrow another way. On the top, it has a rectangle that almost looks like an envelope going into a, a box. I'm going to push, that's at the top of the diagram, I'm going to push it. The screen's going to go black and then it's gonna to go to white again. And what I've just done with that button is I've told that video camera, this is true white. Once I've done that, I can zoom out. And now I'm very happy with those light settings because now it knows what true white is. The video camera now knows what all the other colors are. Please investigate changing your white balance every time you think your lighting conditions change.